Hello class, my name is Nick Tran and I'm going to teach you guys three techniques on how to subtract with fraction circles. The three techniques I will be showing you guys is the takeaway, comparison approach, and finding a common denominator which is called symbolically. I will be showing you guys three problems and we will complete them using the techniques. So our first problem is three-fourths subtract one-half. So we will grab the pieces three-fourths. So the problem is three-fourths subtract one-half. And when you look at this, you already, you already know that this is one-half. Right here, this is already one-half. So it's three-fourths subtract one-half. You can take that piece away and you have one piece remaining which this is the answer, it's one, one fourth. And that is the takeaway approach. And the next technique is using the comparison approach, which is doing three fourths, subtract one half. So you grab that one half and you want to compare it. So you want to put this on top and you want to see what's not covered. So this one, this yellow piece, this, this one piece is our answer because this has covered this and it's the only one that's remaining. So the answer is still one fourth. And the last technique is a symbolic technique, which is finding a common denominator. And when you look at this, you already know that two can be created into four pieces or a half can be created into fourths. So we can put fours on top of it and now they have both a common denominator. Now you want to subtract them. So when you look at it, it's like this, there's two pieces here and there's two pieces here. So you can take that out since they're both equal. You already know that they're both equal and you still have one piece left. Our second problem we will be doing is seven eighths subtract three fourths. So I've already created our 7 eighths. So when you look at this, we have to subtract 3 fourths. So we, we already know that this is a fourth by cutting it into this, this angle. So when you take out 3 fourths, you already know that this will equal 1. This will equal 2, and this will equal 3. So you are left with 1 eighth. And now let's do the comparison approach. So now we want to grab three fourths and it kind of like the same way. We are going to put this on top and compare it with each other and see what's left. So all these pair up together and what's left is still one. So it is one eighth. And the last technique is a symbolic. So this is how it will be. We have to change this fourth into eighths. So we'll grab our eighths, put it on top to figure out how much we need for this to be equal, for them to have the same denominator. And that's it right there. So we have six pieces. So now, when you look at this, it's saying subtract. So we will subtract six out of this seven, which will give us one eighth left. And that's it. Now the last problem we will be doing is one half subtract one third. This problem is a little bit different than the other ones we did, but we will figure it out. So one half, when you look at this, we have to subtract one third. And it's kind of hard to just look at one half and subtract one third because one half and one third, they don't line up. The, the denominators aren't the same. So right from the start, it's best to change your denominators. So when you look at this, two and three, their they're, uh, similar numbers are six. So we have to change this piece into sixes now. So we will 
create sixes out of this piece. So right now it looks like there's three six that can fit onto this half. And when you look at the one third, you have to try to figure out fuck. Okay, how all right, so our last problem we will be doing is one half subtract one third. So right from the beginning we will grab one half and we will grab our one third. And the reason why I'm grabbing these two first is because the the, the denominators aren't the same. So like see like this kind of uneven part it just doesn't make sense. And when you do this, you don't know how many triangles can fit in here. So we have to make the denominator denominator the same right away. So we will use the symbolic technique right from the start. And these denominators can be turned into sixes. They can be exchanged for sixes. So we can put our sixes on top to see how much we need. So it looks like we have three. And we have two over here. So now subtract. And you can see that there's two here, there's three, and if you subtract it, you can take two out because there's two here. And you have one piece left, which is one six. Now that is the takeaway approach. And to do the comparison approach, you don't have to do, do what we just did right here. So when you do this, we already know that the answer or our denominator is a six. So we don't even have to use these pieces. Since they both have, they both fit in six, this will already work. So when we do the comparison approach, you can just lay this piece right on top and you see what's left. It's right here. Take that out and you got it. That's your answer. One six. Class is over. I hope you guys liked what you saw today. I hope you guys learned something new and thank you for watching.